Welcome to the CAGBC's Lead Technical Insights videos. In this series, we're focusing on some of the important updates to LEAD that were included in the November Addenda. The Canada Green Building Council acts as the voice of green building sector, working with our technical advisory groups, steering committee volunteers, and industry stakeholders to ensure LEAD reflects the unique needs of the Canadian market. My name is Ryan Hayes. I'm a lead reviewer with GBCI Canada. In this video, we're going to talk about the key changes to the quality of use credit. You can find updated versions of the rating system and beta guides on the CAGBC website. You can also download the rating systems with track changes, which gives you a clear picture of all the changes. As you can see from the track changes version, the credit has undergone lots of changes. So let's get into it. V4 put more of a focus on the quality aspects of views. The requirements became very nuanced and introduced concepts like view types and view factors. Unfortunately, it made the requirements slightly muddled. The latest version simplifies the requirements, makes the requirements clearer, and opens the door for more projects to achieve the credit. They've effectively isolated the core components of what makes a good view into four requirements. Number one is most occupants have to be able to see outside. You still need to have access to views for 75% of regularly occupied floor area. Number two, occupants can't have large objects obstructing views. You need to have access to views within three times the head height of glazing. This was previously an option for demonstrating views. However, it makes much more sense as a qualifying requirement for views. Number three, which is a new requirement, occupants have to be able to actually see out the glazing. Glazing must have a visible light transmittance, or VLT, of 40%. Number four, which is include one of the following, option uh, objects more than 7.5 meters away. To reduce eye strain and, and connect with the outdoor environment, occupants need to take a visual break from their computer screens and change their gaze to objects farther afield. Alternatively, occupants need to be able to look at something interesting like nature, urban landmarks like the Marine Building, Vancouver, or art. The most significant simplifications to the requirements is regarding the options. As mentioned, the obstructionless distance to glazing is now required. The multiple lines of sight and view factors were removed. View factors were deemed too subjective and confusing. Also removed was the movement option, which was pretty ambiguous. So we've seen how the addenda has simplified the requirements. Now I'll highlight how the qualifications have been clarified. We now have tangible qualifications for frits and patterns, which is no larger than an eighth of an inch spaced every two inches vertically and four inches horizontally. This is a very welcome addition as the CAGBC's technical advisory group had specifically suggested incorporating bird collision deterrent elements common for Toronto area projects. The addenda has also clarified the requirements by changing clarity and color balance to visible light transmittance. And as I just mentioned, the addenda has removed options for movement and, and uh, view, view factors. The November addenda has also allowed greater access for projects with the very welcome and long overdue revisions to specifically exclude video conferencing rooms, auditoriums, and gymnasiums. Again, these were changes suggested by the CAGBC's technical advisory groups. Here you can see the four requirements for the quality of use credit in Lee version four. We believe that these simplified requirements provide more clarity and they allow for more projects to achieve the quality of use credit. This in turn gives more building occupants engaging connections to the natural outdoor environment for moments of respite and overall greater satisfaction, productivity, and wellness. Here's a list of upcoming videos in our series. 
We've already released the surrounding density and diverse uses video. If you haven't seen it, I encourage you to check it out. We will be releasing these videos week by week through to the end of January 2021. You can check out our other videos in the CAGBC channel of YouTube. For any questions or more information, please contact us at leadcoach at gbcicanada.ca. Thanks for watching.